everyone welcome to lt plus plus so this is the second tutorial of uh, endc and in first lecture we have already seen the purpose of endc deployment options that is option 3 3a and option 3x and in, in this tutorial we will see the differences between uh, career aggregation and endc and also we will look at the types of bearer that is mcg scg and split bearer used in endc also we will look at uh, it, uh, the protocol architecture of these bearers okay okay so let me give you a quick review uh, what we studied in last tutorial so we have seen this option 3x right actually generally operators prefer this option option 3x okay so we have our master node here master node is your 4g base station that is e node p and we have our secondary node secondary node is your g node b and i hope you remember that master node is one which is responsible for all signaling part right means it will decide when and how to add secondary node okay and there is a 4g core node which is also known as epc is available here so with epc secondary node cannot communicate right with epc or e node b can communicate okay so it has control plane interface with epc user plane interface with epc and the secondary node has only user plane interface with epc s1 u this is also s1 u okay and they have x2 u between them and they have x2c as well between them so for all the control plane related uh, actions e node b will inform sorry g node b will inform master node or e node b okay because it cannot communicate directly to epc okay so this is our option 3x okay so ca versus endc so the major difference is that here the split happens at mac layer and in endc split happens at your pdcp layer okay so let me draw a picture so that you will get a uh, better understanding so this is my 4g base station okay and uh, in 4g base station you all are aware that we have pdcp okay pdcp layer is there and rlc layer is there right mac layer is there okay so so from upper layers data will come to pdcp right and here this e node b supports let's say two cells right this is my primary cell p cell and this is my secondary cell okay for more details you can refer refer the tutorial that i have already prepared on career regression okay so two cells are there uh, these two cells are configured here with this single e node b okay so at mac layer what will happen this traffic will split okay so they will have a file layer of cell 1 so let's say it's 5 1 and there is another file of cell 2 okay yeah. and now from there two carriers will be coming out towards ue so ue will listen both the component carriers right this is my primary component carrier and this is my secondary component carrier so ue will listen both the component carriers uh, while using carrier regression so let's say packet number 1 2 3 4 r means they are coming towards ue in downlink direction so at mac layer scheduler shifts right 
scheduler is there at Mac layer. So this will decide how to means uh, distribute these packets towards PCC or SCC. Let's say packet number one and packet number three are going via PCC and packet number uh, two and four are going via SCC. Okay. Okay, so this is how things are in integration, right? Now let's come to ENDC. Let me change the page. So in ENDC, uh, there is a master node, right? Okay, there is master node that is your E node B, and there is a secondary node, correct? And it's your uh, G node B. Okay, so as I told you split happens at PDCP layer, okay? So you have to keep this thing in your mind. Okay, so packets from upper layer will come towards PDCP. So let's say it's E Ultra PDCP, I'm denoting it with E. Okay, so E PDCP, correct. And E PDCP, then your E R L C E Mac and E Phi E means E Ultra that is your 4G these are denoting 4G layer of RLC 4G layer of Mac this is 4G layer of Phi okay and similarly this will have N let's say N R P D C P Okay, this is my NR PDCP and this is my NR RLC. These are NR stands for new radio, radio that is your 5G. Okay, NR RLC, NR Mac, NR Phi. Okay. Okay, this is my core node core node and you can say SGW. Let's say this is MME and this is my SGW. So packet will come from SGW. That is your downlink packets. It will come to PDCP. So as I told you, a split happens at this point. Let me change the color at PDCP split happens. So some packets, it will redirect towards 5G node. So they'll terminate at RLC and our back and our phi okay and some packets will follow this route erlc emac e phi career one career two so endc capable ue will listen both the careers okay so let's say <clears throat> uh, let me change the color so let's say packet number one packet number two, packet number three, packet number four are going towards this UE, right? And let's say due to some reason, this master node is overloaded. Okay, so what it will do, it will redirect some packets, let's say packet number two and four towards secondary node. Okay, so as I told you that X2U is already there, right? X2U. If you look at the architecture, that is option three. So X2U is there, right? So now this master node will use this X2U. So over X2U, these packets two and four are redirected towards secondary node. Whereas, whereas packet number, packet number this your one and three, that is your, this is packet number three, this is packet number one are going through this path. Okay, that is E Ultra RLC Mac E Ultra Phi. So packet number three and one are going via this carrier, whereas packet number two and four are going via this uh, this path. That is five G. Okay. Okay. So now this UE will receive all the packets one two three four 
So, uh, what we have seen here, that split happens at PDCP layer. So, this is a major difference between CA and uh, your ENDC. Okay. In CA, we have seen split happens at MAC layer here. Okay. The next difference is your, as we know, scheduler is uh, located at MAC layer. Okay. So, 5G MAC layer will have its own scheduler. Let's say 5G scheduler. Whereas, EUTRA MAC layer will have its own scheduler. Let's call it 4G scheduler. So there are two schedulers, right? For 4G and for 5G. Whereas in uh, CA, what we have seen, single scheduler is there. Because traffic is going to split at MAC layer, okay? So MAC layer will decide, let's put this packet number one and three towards PCC, and let's put packet number two and four towards SCC. So it's the responsibility of MAC layer. But here, the things are a little bit different. We have, means both 4G and 5G node will have their own scheduler, okay. And one more thing, as I told you, it's responsibility of master node, right? Means when it will, means when master node feels it's getting overloaded. So what it will do, it will add the secondary node, right? Okay, so same thing happens here also. In E node B, that is in CA, when your uh, that it's responsibility of primary cell here, right? Primary cell will add secondary cell and activate it. Okay. Whereas in E and DC, it's responsibility of master node that is your E node B to add secondary node. Okay, secondary node that is your G node B. Okay, so this is all about CA versus ENDC. I hope it clears all of your doubts. Okay, and um, lecture is getting a little bit lengthy. So what I'll do, bearers, that is your uh, SCG bearer, MCG bearer, and split bearer. Okay, and their protocol architecture. Okay, this will cover in next lecture. Okay, thank you.